Hey YouTube, it's Mrs. Rains here. I know it's awkward that I am driving the car and talking to you, but I am on my way to pick up my son from school, so I decided to take this opportunity for a little hair talk. Um, essentially what I want to talk about is why I opted to go natural. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages and responses from people wondering, oh, why'd you cut off all that hair? The truth of the matter was that my hair was broken off. It had, you know, my edges were dried out, my ends were dried out, it was hard to just keep up with my regimen as I got busier um, in church and, you know, with functions for the kids, and I just started to have to try to hone in on what would be the easiest regimen for me, and I'm not saying natural hair is easier, but there's way less maintenance as far as trying to keep a style. Um, Obviously, what you see now is a wig, which I actually have a video for that that will be going up shortly, but this is just a quick chat really to say, you know, I chose to go natural. Um, I started trimming my ends and realizing that I just wanted to get be done with all of the text laxed hair. I was done with having three textures because essentially I had relaxed ends, text laxed, you know, at the middle of the hair shaft and the root of my hair was evidently my natural growth so having three textures of hair to deal with was not the easiest thing um, so what I've opted to do is to go natural and to grow my hair back out um, but chemical free so I've opted to have no permanent dye no um, no kind of chemicals really um, if I did opt to color my hair it would probably be henna or something along those lines just nothing permanent nothing that's going to strip my hair of moisture um, so that's really hard to even fathom doing right now I just want to work hard to moisturize my hair to hide it as much as possible while it's still in this middle phase um, I have not done an update on length yet but I will be getting to that probably the beginning of May I want to try to check every two months because I think if I check monthly for hair growth I think I'll be disappointed um, just in a sense of if it doesn't grow, if I don't get the half inch of growth that I would expect to get, I would probably be a little bit down about that. And I don't want to lose momentum in this natural hair journey, I suppose. Um, I am actually very happy to say that this has become um, not consuming at all so I don't feel like my life is my hair and that I've got to put a lot into it whereas with the text likes hair it wasn't that my life was my hair but I did have to put a lot of effort um, weekly just deep clean deep conditioning and you know getting under the dryer and all that stuff um, it was it wasn't hard because it was my routine but as my routine had to change to incorporate other family activities then I realized it was just too time consuming um, the things I had to do in order to keep up with my hair. I mean, just the ritual of going to bed at night required me to have, you know, two scarves, a satin bonnet, and a satin pillowcase. It was just too much. Um, another thing that, you know, somebody sent me a message to ask me was, you know, is everything okay? You know, are you going through something personally or stressful? And really, I'm not. I mean, the Lord has me in a really good place, and I'm actually happy where I am right now. Um, so there's nothing personal that opted me to cut my hair. I don't know if people thought that I had some sickness or if there was something else going on, but there's just, I, that's just not the case. So I'm happy with that. Um, what else was there? Uh, I think there was also questions about, do I miss the relaxer or the text lax? I do miss it in the fact that, I think I miss the length. I don't miss the texture of hair. Um, the length air conditioning blowing too high um the length of my hair was really where I was happiest I was happy honestly I was happy at shoulder length and armpit length and bra strap length and mid back I was happy at all three lengths um I never quite achieved waist length which is where I wanted to be but I basically put myself on a 10 year plan if I can manage to keep from cutting my hair again for the next 10 years and I mean cutting not trimming cutting then um you know, I'll get back to the lengths I want it to be at. 
Um, realistically, I could probably grow my hair back out, you know, in three years, but I guess I'm under the um, impression that I don't want to rush myself. You know, I'd like to just hit milestones when I hit them and not say, okay, well, in six months I'm going to have, you know, shoulder length hair. I don't want to limit myself in that way. Realistically, theoretically, yes, it could happen, but I'd rather let it be a surprise to me than a requirement. So I'm just on a 10 year plan and, you know, to get my hair at its healthiest, longest length in that time frame. Not that in 10 years I'm going to cut it, but, you know, and this may change. This is just how I feel right now. It could be down the line and say, you know, the Lord wants me to shave my head. I don't know. Not that it would be that extreme, I don't think, but, you know, I'm just trying to be prepared for the best and the worst case scenario. Um, I guess I've also been asked what I recommend the Big Chop to anyone else. Sure, if you have any, um, I guess, concerns that, oh, I'm going to look like a boy, or I'm this, or I'm that, and, you know, it's a loss of femininity. Yeah, it's true, but hair's hair, you know. It'll grow back, or even if it doesn't grow back, it's, it is what it is. It doesn't change who you are, so... You know, don't be afraid. Just get the scissors out and start cutting. Um, you might regret it. You might not. You might miss your hair. You might not. You know, yeah, I miss my length, but I know it'll come back. You know, I'm prayerful it'll come back and be as thick as ever. So, it's just a matter of knowing what you want and going after it, I guess. Um, what else am I asked? I'm trying to think. I've been asked also about... Um, how my hair regimen is holding up I really don't have a solid regimen yet when I do get a solid hair regimen I'll share it with you I am using the products that I listed in that video a while back um, yeah those products are working just fine I'm really loving the edge control I wish I used edge control when I had my text laxed hair because that's where it's the most out of control is my edges they just kind of grow every which way so that's helpful um, and I guess the other thing I'm most asked, besides, like, this is completely nothing to do with hair. People ask why I changed the format of my blog and why I changed the format of my videos to include the girl at the front. And I guess, to me, I just want it to be a symbol of relationship. And yes, I've already lost, you know, quite a bit of subscribers because I was gone so long or because my hair is not long anymore or whatever the multiple multitude of reasons are. But I want it to be relationship. I want to relate to you guys as, um, you know, as it stands. I don't, I don't want it to feel like I'm selling you something or I'm trying to, and I'm not trying to knock YouTubers who have subs subscription, I mean, subscriptions based on, you know, you know, being able to do reviews for products and all that. I understand, you know, get your money. I'm not knocking that, but I just don't want that to be my channel. I don't want to be a product reviewer who, you know, I'm reviewing it because somebody had to send it to me in the mail and be bogged down with that. You know, I'm thankful for the people who do have that opportunity and the time to do that because it helps us know what people really think about products and stuff. I just want it to be me talking about what I'm going through with you and I want it to be where you feel like you can connect with me that I'm a real person and, you know, I just, I'm just out here like you are trying to figure my hair situation out. So, um, hopefully people understand that's what the girl is about because when I talk to people I know girl please you know girl are you really gonna do that that's how I talk to people and it's because it's a it's endearment it's a term of love and affection of camaraderie and do I have anything against men watching my videos no I don't but it's not for them realistically and I'm not trying to be funny but I'm not t telling you how to keep your brush cut tight I'm not telling you you know how to keep your edge up right I'm not doing that this this is not meant for you this is meant for you know women out there who can relate to me um, I'm not intending to teach men anything I'm not intending to show men anything my intention is really for the female audience and I'm sorry if that offends some of you and some of you all subscribe I know I do have a handful of subscribers that are men that just are interested in the hair videos to see progress and stuff. You know, and that's fine too. I just don't, I'm not, that's not my, who I'm reaching out to. I'll put it that way. So, 
hopefully you understand if you don't you unsubscribe that's okay if I get new subscribers that's great too you know I'm not I'm not out here for that I'm just out here to talk about life with everybody so you know I just love the Lord I'm thankful for my blessings I'm thankful for the things I'm not blessed with because you know it keeps it keeps you humble when you're not blessed with all your need all your wants but I have all my needs so you know put God at the head of all you do I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you guys later.